continuing on with 9.1 solving systems of equations by the graphing method um, we're going to either move this or do the addition method so I'm going to move that over I get uh, 2y uh, equals 10x plus 20 and then I'm going to divide by 2 dividing by the number in front of y here this is getting the equation into slope intercept form I get y equals 5x plus 10 on this one I'll show the addition method add 5x some of you might already see what's uh, taking place here if you're looking a little ahead on this problem but we get y equals 5x uh, plus 25 now this plus 25 um, once I, I'm going to go ahead and write these in here for us. Um, what we see here is that, hey, our slopes match, okay, but our y-intercepts are different. So kind of thinking where this would be, we have a slope of 5, you know, we're going to get up 5 over 1, up 5 over 1 at, a, at this intercept of 10. Well, they're going to be parallel lines because of the slope here and they're going to have different y-intercepts so if you think about that and I, I'm not drawing these in the exact right spot but you're going to have parallel lines well parallel lines that's the no, no solution okay alright now taking a look at the fourth one here this is definitely um, the messiest one because a lot of us don't like to work with fractions and I'm just going to uh, do these um, quickly for us so we can work with the fractions and be sure if you have uh, trouble with fractions to make sure and use your calculator um, to take care of the fractions but when I move that one-fourth over I get negative one-fourth okay and then you could use the reciprocal method or the division method I'm going to multiply by negative three halves when I do that I have to multiply everything on this side by multiple negative three halves and I, I kind of cram it into next to every fraction there and what I get here is I get y is equal to three eighths x and you can do that multiplication on your calculator um, and then minus uh, 35 eighths I'm not sure what happened here um, Oh, I copied down my minus two thirds here, so I'm going to make that. That was 35 over 12. A little mistake there. Be careful. So um, we get 35 over 8. Okay. So yeah, be careful when you copy things down. I, I make mistakes too. Um, so I get 3 eighths and negative 35 eighths. This is another nice little example of why the graphing methods kind of a pain sometimes because to graph this boy you to plot this spot the starting points negative negative four and three eighths is quite difficult to get that estimate of where that's at um, on this graph okay but I'm gonna finish changing these into slope intercept form and then we're gonna look at it in Desmos so here I'll move the 2x over I get negative one third y equals negative 2x plus 10 thirds and then I'm going to do the division method here because some of you prefer that um, divide by negative one third divide by negative one third and divide by negative one third okay and what I end up with here is y equals 6x minus 10 okay so uh, you might have your note packet out next to you while we're doing this because um, I have mine next to me. I'm just going to show you quickly what that looks like in in Desmos here. So, give me a second to change screens here. Um, so, in Desmos, I'm going to put the first equation in, um, which was y equals. If you want to get the fraction uh, key, you can just hit the slash key. And I had three. I'm using my mouse here. Eights x um, minus fraction 35 eighths okay and then the second equation was or second line was y equals 6x minus 10 okay 
And what we find here is, uh, if I got everything typed in correctly, is that we find that the intersection is at, and I can hit this home button if I'd like, the intersection is at 1, negative 4. Okay. And you can remember, you can drag this around. So remember the downfalls of the graphing are that sometimes the lines won't cross at a nice intersection and it's very difficult to figure out where the lines cross. It's difficult to plot the lines, but with these these graphing tools, it, it, it does help us to, um, to find a, a, an approximation or a precise uh, intersection. So hopefully you found the first two videos useful and I'll make one to wrap up 9.1.